text your mom, right? Yeah. 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 We're live. See, it says you're live, right? Hi. We're on the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. We got some guest stars here <laughs> that are, and we got the little notice. So if you ring the little bell, you should get notices on your phones and tell everybody we're live or when we post up new content every day, right? Yeah. So what are we here? Oh, so this is 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. Uh, Scrum Show. I am Greg Master, Scrum <laughs> Master, and as a coach, these are our special guests. Okay. Crazy people. Don't ignore them. They're not here. Do you want me to introduce you or not? No. No. No introductions. <laughs> this is one of our biggest fans right here in the middle. She's the one that did the tie dye shirt. What we use on Fortune Cookie Friday, and and that's trouble. That's mm -hmm. that's the other one. Um. Oh, and here comes other trouble. He's coming on. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna take the world out. And we got Eddie. Right. So we got the whole gangs here. So what do we do in the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show? We try to have a little bit of fun, right? And uh, so we had a visitor over here for the, for the night girls' night out. And what are you um, doing? we try to have fun. We, we try to bring value to the customer, right? We talk about Scrum and Agile, things that are Agile in place. There was a conversation the other day, so we'll talk about that. And today I want to talk about Netflix and how they're being very Agile and putting out working product in a continuous manner. <laughs> Because we got some Netflix fans over here. Mm -hmm. Olivia, you're, you're a Netflix fan, right? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite show? Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. Watch it now or else. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eddie, what's your favorite Netflix show? Henry Danger. Hen Henry Danger. Isabel, what's your favorite Netflix show? Avatar. Avatar. So we got all these different things out there and, and watching different shows. So we're going to talk about that a little bit and how agile that is. And then uh, I guess that's it. Do you guys want to say goodbye? Bye. Bye. All right, get out. Okay. All right. See you girls later. Have fun. Get ready for baseball, Ed. So, gang's all here on the 5 a.m. Mr. Scrum Show. Invite some guest speakers. They're guest speakers, right? And um, why do we want to bring up Netflix? So, we talk about Agile Scrum in a practical and tactical way. And they just wanted to be on the show. So, let them be on the show. Um, of course, my daughter didn't want to be on the show. What you got in your face? Come on, Betty. Come on. Now the dog wants to be in the show, right? D Betty, you want to be in the show? You want to say hi to everybody? Betty, put your face up. Would you? Would you? Would you? Did we talk? Uh-oh. Boy's trying to sneak back in that show. Um. So what about Netflix? Why did I bring it up? Why bring in value to the customer, right? And this is why Netflix is a good one. We want to bring value to the customer without working crazy hours to get home, have some fun with the family and friends, do some fun stuff too, watch fun Netflix. stuff at work, watch Netflix every once in a while. Um, but just talk about the, the new genre of putting video out there, product, content, right? So what I love about Netflix and its way, and, and hopefully Eddie, Eddie, stop. Seriously. Thank you. Sometimes you have to tell people stop as a coach and a father and a parent. You can't just let them keep going because they're going to take out stuff and then they're not going to realize what they're about to do. Um, so why is it good? Because they get const they're constantly getting new content out to the customer to get feedback on whether it's good or not. They live and die based on the feedback of the customer, right? But what I really thought was cool because I was watching something last night. And I saw a character in it that I saw in another Netflix show. It gives a great opportunity for um, actors and actresses to get chances to be out in shows. And sometimes it'll hit, be a hit show and sometimes it won't. And what's really cool about versus the, the big production, you know, the, the multimedia companies, like, the you know, the, the main things here in the States is that. It gives everybody an opportunity to be there. Like it, you don't have to be part of a, a, a group or a club or a clique to try to put content out there. It's not up to them. So Netflix is very agile in the way it's working out. Deliver, delivering content like we talk, talk about. Working product is king. Working software is king. Putting videos out there in a way that the customer can look at it, evaluate them, see if they like it is the right way to do it. it um it breaks the mold it gives everybody more opportunities to do new things try new things get famous sometimes it'll work sometimes it won't sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad i've seen some dubbing voices and things that were terrible but you know what it 
everybody's trying. Some people like it. And they just like the creative nature of the shows. So that's what we had for today. There's too much action going on. So I'm going to shut it short. But think about next time you watch Netflix, think about how it's allowing and putting out uh, episodes and content on a regular basis so that people can enjoy different stuff. And it's not stuck on the same show for 10 years. You put it out for a while. You try it out until burn and try something new. Right. So give us a thumbs up if you like the show. Hope everybody's doing well. Ring the little bell so you know when we go live. And you all take care and you have a great day and happy scrumming. Enjoy your Saturday. And that was our 604th episode. Again, when next time we watch Netflix, think about how they give product to the customer and keep delivering it and get the customer feedback. Okay? All right. See you later. Here comes last minute boy. See ya. Say bye, Ed. See ya. We got there. Dinosaur? No. Okay. See ya. Bye. And we're out.